Hey guys, and welcome to my new studio! Yes, things have changed. The format and things of these videos is going to change slightly whilst I acclimatize uh, to this new area that I have. Uh, so bear with me, there's going to be a few little things which are slightly janky during this video. For example, the audio is not going to be quite right. Nothing I can do about that just at the moment. But until then, I wanted to get out a video for you guys showcasing a my new studio and, you know, doing some art. Because I haven't done any since, I think, August. So I'm going to kick things off with the three marker challenge. So the three marker challenge, as you probably are aware, is a challenge where I draw an illustration and then I get a random selection of three markers or colours to complete it with. So we're going to do the colour selection later, but I'm going to kick things straight off by getting on with an illustration. I started by roughing out a pose for the character. I originally had planned on having her facing more towards the camera, but as I laid down the um, construction lines, it felt better to have her facing away from the camera and kind of looking back more over her shoulder. Once I was happy with the general pose, I put in some rough kind of directional lines to indicate the flow of the wings and the direction that I wanted to go, them to go in. After adding in a few more details, I started to do it on the line work. I wasn't happy with uh, the position of the character on the page, nor with some of her facial features felt a little bit off. So I actually went back and started again, using my light box to um, move the character down on the sheet of paper and uh, allowing me the uh, freedom to change her facial expression. I'm much happier with the second line work that I came up with. I also used that opportunity to change the patterns on the wing. I felt that the original wing that I came up with was a little bit um, crowded, a little bit over the top. I wanted something a bit simpler. Well, that took a little bit longer than I was intending, but it is now complete and I can move on to the colour selection. And to do that, I'm going to be using Jazz's RT Games app. It has a mode in it which is specifically designed for this. Uh, if I go to play and go into the settings on the colour challenge, then I can make sure that three colours are selected. I've already got all my copics already programmed into it, and all I'll need to do is go to color challenge and hit go and it will give me the three colors that we'll be using which will be the YG11 Mignonite, 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 Mignon something, E43 Dull Ivory and V91 Pale Grape. When it came to the colours, I started by testing the three that I had on a piece of paper to see how they blended together and what kind of uh, effects that I could get with them. What I found was that the Pale Grape and the Mayanite, Mig Mig Mayanite um, was, they, they blended together really well in a, a way that I wasn't expecting, which worked really nicely as a skin tone. I was also able to use the dull ivory as a very deep shadow area in those those areas too. So I started by using that on the uh, skin areas as the skin tones, uh, laying down the YG11, the green, um, in the palest areas, leaving the brightest areas to show the paper through to signify where the light was hitting most strongly. Um, for the leaves, uh, I used the YG11 as base coat followed by the dark ivory. I would have liked to have had a little bit more variation in this and to have left some areas for highlights. Something that I could go back with a white gel pen and uh, fix, but this being a three marker challenge, wasn't really sure that I could throw in another pen from outside those, uh, those three markers. For the hair I used the pale grape uh, and then the dull ivory as to give it a little bit more texture using sort of some sort of flicky strokes with the brush tip. 
When it came to the wings, uh, I wanted to use the dull ivory and the pale grape. Um, what I found was that the pale grape was actually running very low on ink quite rapidly. This actually worked out in my benefit because it allowed me to create a gradient on the wing, which I don't know whether I would have been able to um, without it running out. <laughs> uh, certainly not without a colorless blender. So that really helped me out um, with this particular challenge. Finally, I went around the whole piece and added a little bit of variation to the line weight. I'm not happy with the line weight on the character overall. I think I could have done a much better job, but it has definitely lifted the piece from the paper and I'm pretty happy with the overall final result. So I'm pretty happy with the results from that. The fact that I ended up with those three very pale colours really helped me out, I think. They uh, allowed me to do lots of blending and such. And also, randomly, weirdly, the fact that my uh, V91, the pale grape, was running out actually benefited me quite well towards the end there with the wings. So I hope you have enjoyed my first ever attempt at an art challenge video and free mark challenge. If you have any uh, suggestions for future art challenges you'd like to see me attempt, then please do leave me a comment down below. Like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't, and I will see you in the next video.